Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where I'm stifling a cough, I do apologise. Um, and uh, we, well, I only have two more uh, hulls to look at. So this is the penultimate new hull from Core Patch 1, and is the French experimental battleship first available in 1929. So let's get into the design. As usual, I'm recording this live on Twitch. Um, and... That's interesting. It's basically it looks very similar to the Japanese heavy cruisers, funnily enough. Um, hmm, hmm, <laughs> the towers don't look particularly interesting. I think they're all... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Standard French towers that we've seen before. Yeah. And... Yeah, the, the 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 prices and the the weights don't have any like drops in them. That is very very heavy. Oh, there's a drop here. Light modern tower three is lighter than the enhanced modern two. And is lighter than the Light Modern Tower 4 and has the same base accuracy. So we'll go with the 3, I think. I think that's a good option. Yes. <laughs> a bit of whiskey for the cough. Yeah, I suppose, but then I'll fall asleep immediately. Um, uh, yes, uh, Jingle Bells does go on cooldown. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, um, it's going to make recording really hard. Hey, first place onion. Yeah, it's uh, you could wait a couple of minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, as soon as I mentioned it, um, Telemonian Dan redeemed it immediately. Uh, okay, secondary towers. Mm, that one gives you seventeen, and is really quite. Uh, Quite cheap. I think that's a good buy. <laughs> yeah, it's on a it's on a cooldown. Otherwise, I'd just be sitting here going jingle bells for the entire stream, which you know is funny, but uh, <laughs> perhaps not what we should be trying to do when I'm recording anyway. <laughs> right. Um, let's go for. Eh, probably double gauge steam turbines, to be honest. Um, that gives me... Wow, you get quite a lot of smoke interference to play with. Can you go for a double funnel setup? Yeah, you almost certainly can. Uh, if they'll let you. Yeah, you can go for two of the very, very cheap ones. That gives you an absolute ton of funnel capacity. Which means I think this ship could be extremely fast. Bum, 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 bum. 1k Jingle Bell stream. <laughs> hey, we're not that far off. 108 followers or something like that. If you are watching this stream and you're not following, uh, I would appreciate it. Uh, tw 29 knots on natural boilers. That's That's pretty good. Um, for 1929, that's 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 very respectable. Uh, and it hasn't used that much of our displacement. Hmm. Okay. Guns gonna be 16s, isn't it? Yeah. Now, now they do fit there. I wonder, are you allowed to do naughty things? You are allowed to do naughty things. If you can make it fit, of course. Usually be a standard for a 16. <sighs> nope. Uh, we're going to need... Oh, yeah, because this is raised. Now, there were some new ones. This is the super tall. I think maybe a very tall. Nope. Doesn't like it. Uh, go for an enlarged. Yeah. 
It's saying it's clipping. What about the super tall, which is huge? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, can I get away with something less than the super tall? Extra tall? Extra tall. <laughs> okay. Sure. That's uh, that's balanced. And of course, if we're doing it, you don't want to do it with twins, do you? It's French. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I agree with you, Robo. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, uh, Cumbrian85. Welcome to the chat. Um, <coughs> yeah, super duper quads. 16s as well. I reckon you can do it with bigger guns. Well, I might have just found my new favourite hole. Um, <laughs> that is insane. This is an insane armament. Well, the rest of it can just be secondary guns. Um, I know we've got a full weight offset, but... Uh, I'll, I'll try and figure that out later. Um, I do I do love a six inch gun. Six inch guns could be could be nice. Do you know what? I think you can do even more horrible things at the back. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this one doesn't super fire. Um, if only you could put a Put a barbette on there. Oh well. It looks like it should super fire, but it doesn't. Still, that's a funny rearrangement. Yes, there is a barbette built in here. Actually, you can fit surprisingly large guns on here. Um, not a 16 quad, but you, you, I think you can fit a 15 inch gun on there if you if you really try. Chasers as well. Oh yes, I like this. Right, Let's see if we can move that gun back a little bit. It's not even that unbalanced. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's not even reasonable in the slightest. Oh damn. Everyone knows you need turret mounted oops quad four inch guns everywhere. I mean they're not gonna be able to turn very much, but uh, it is funny. <laughs> Come on, there you go. Yes, excellent. <laughs> Probably the scariest funnels in the game. Um, shove a gun anywhere else. Not a four. What about a three? Yeah, not the, maybe the quads, but that is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it does have an half weight offset somehow. <laughs> that is, that is a that is that is a that's a hell of a thing. God damn! Uh, I'll do the armor before I uh, try and sort out the offset. Uh, left side six inch. Ah, thank you very much. I keep forgetting that it doesn't do the rotation in mirror. Um, yeah, we only have access to Cordite. Uh, Add to video 4. It's pretty reasonable. Damn, I'm surprised with the amount of displacement I have remaining. This thing has pretty much everything you could possibly want on it. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is armor. Um... 
go for an 89 on the turret. Uh, 16. 8 and then 8 4 4 2 yeah we'll go over 8 with that but uh, you know what that range is is pretty pretty good actually um, could drop it a little bit without too much of an issue yeah there we go um, and maybe a little bit more superstructure armor a little bit more on the cunning tower and there you go and I believe that is actually perfectly balanced somehow yes perfectly balanced <laughs> yes <laughs> hmm yeah I, I think that's a perfectly balanced ship design France nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> Mon dieu. Okay, well, let's see how this thing goes. It is very expensive, 278 million, but god damn. <laughs> Who needs subtlety? <laughs> I know I should probably, especially with this type of design, I should have more on the four belt, but I think eight inch will be okay. Let's go take the Paris for a spin. Oh, my word. <laughs> as balanced as me after two bottles of whiskey. <laughs> ah, how does resistance work? Um, that's a good question. Thank you, Dr. Trefonius. So, resistance is actually a very simple stat. So, um, your resistance is a percentage reduction on all incoming damage. So if you have um, a resistance of 100%, then it reduces all incoming damage to, like, half. So it's you, you take whatever the damage is, and then, like, it's it's 100%. It, it, it's a bit of a weird one in the way it actually operates in terms of, at least you think, oh, wouldn't you take no damage? But no, it's not quite how it works. But... Um, Basically, the higher resistance, the less damage you take. Um, which is why battleships take less damage than destroyers, because they have a higher resistance stat. Uh, so if you buff the resistance stat, then you don't take much damage. It's great if you want a ship that is really, really hard for light ships to hurt. Yeah, it's a flat damage reduction. Then there's also to torpedo damage resistance on top of that you get from your torpedo protection system which and they stack uh mr beep any news on the official date nope uh i believe version 97 will be the version coming out on steam and that will be this week at the time of recording uh which could mean tomorrow as far as i know um <laughs> right let's go united states doesn't look like they've brought anything uh particularly offensive today but uh, I certainly have. this is absolutely outrageous I wonder what uh, the biggest guns you could do this with is you could probably do this with 18s which would just be absolutely bonkers but uh, I'd rather have the 16 mark 3s over 18 mark ones I think it was but uh, yeah if you're building this in a late tech year <laughs> oh my goodness 20s uh, yeah you might be able to do it with 20s be uh, extremely heavy um, I can't remember what the minimum uh minimum requirements are for Ultimate Admiral, but uh, it does run pretty well on a on a modest PC. If you've got a separate graphics card, you should be okay, kind of thing. Wow. It's not the First World War, USA. But apparently, bringing something with the armament of a renowned class battlecruiser is acceptable. 
okay. For a, that's fine for a battle cruiser, but for a battle cruiser, that's a bit anemic. Meanwhile, the battle cruiser has. Well, that's not too bad actually. Bit of a weird layout. Heavy cruiser. With nines and a fuck ton of torpedoes, that thing needs to die immediately. Swiftly followed by the light cruiser, which is also packing a metric ton of them. Oh, I love the Renown, but it's a battle cruiser, not a battleship. Yeah, the shadows and anti-aliasing. If you keep those off, it's uh, it just it runs, it runs all right. I know. I uh, what? It's like the AI knows I'm coming. It's like I'm just going to stuff my uh, cruisers full of torpedo or deck torpedo launchers. Now, if you did that as a player, it wouldn't be very effective at all. But the AI is freaking genius when it comes to using the damn things. Hey there, person ZZ. <laughs> just, just a bonkers looking ship. Look at it. to uh, take out the uh, heavy cruiser as best I can. Probably has already launched... Oh no, it's got shorter range torpedoes. That's something at least. It should probably stay out of its range in that case. Good to know. What about the light cruiser? Uh, yeah, that's got longer range. And the destroyer probably also packing a gajillion torpedoes. No, only four. Still annoying. Can we please get some hits. Are we ricocheting, perhaps? Hard to tell, there's so much going on. Yeah, they go get out from the torpedoes. That's what we're trying to do. Tempt them. And they have increased, so that thing, yeah, needs to die with urgency. <laughs> and there's another set. That's more like it. Please eliminate Baltimore at your earliest convenience. More fucking torpedoes. Just actually no. Go that way. 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 Ah, good. Baltimore's gone. Quincy next, please. The destroyer's also fired at me. And the Quincy just fired. So we'll stay on this turn. And hopefully... We'll be okay. Six-inch guns on the destroyer. Oh, and the fours. So we can shoot them from the funnels. Is always funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bow in, firing 12 16 inch guns. It's really, really not fair. I know I'm broadside on at the moment, but this thing does have, you know, good armor. 16 inch main belt with uh, 8 on the extended. Oh, okay. There is the light cruiser gone. Uh, destroyers out of ammunition. 
Time to focus on the battleship. What's the speed? 29.5, pretty good. And the Philadelphia at 34. This is where the AI probably tries to run away from me. Wow, price, 103, 119, wow. Philadelphia is more expensive than the battleship. Of course, this thing in the campaign would actually be really good because <laughs> it would be fantastic at stern chases, which you end up doing a lot of. At least that's my experience. Oh, there's something about I'm I'm very much taken with this. It's just so unreasonable. <laughs> you two don't carry torpedoes, do you? What are they actually up to at the moment? Yep, running away. Told you. AI just loves to run away. And they can get away as well, which is annoying. I mean, the, the Paris here is pretty speedy, but... There's uh, not much you can do against that. Now, one thing I'm going to look out for here is this. Ricochet. If we're ricocheting... I think we are... Yeah, let's go to HE. Because uh, just need to get damage in on them for now. Yeah, yeah but that the filler it's not bad. Um, decent speed, decent armament. Armor is a bit meh, but you know, kind of a heavy cruiser armor. So it's a bit like a, a really, really powerfully armed heavy cruiser, the Philadelphia, which is. You know, not a bad way of designing a battle group. Uh, battle cruiser, sorry. The Arizona, on the other hand, uh, underarmed. Not particularly well armoured either. Yeah, not a fan of the Arizona design that they've come up with. Harris, meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous. Look at that. Ricochets for days. I wish there was a no retreat option. Um, for uh, custom battles or something. Citadel 3. That's the lowest you can pick in 1929, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure the AI does not just not take things anymore. I think it does tend to pick stuff. Um, I mean, they cheaped out on pretty much everything. Philadelphia's broadside onto me, I've just noticed. And get some hits on her, that would be fantastic. Not very likely to hit her though. And she's running away again. Never mind. Continue to fire on the Arizona. As you were. She must be on a weird order or something. That destroyer is taking repeated hits from six inch guns and not caring. Maximum bulkheads? Yeah. Uh, yeah, check the speed of the enemy ships. Good idea. Uh, she's doing 25 8. 
at the same speed as me. And the area of is still there in uh, 32. But uh, the Arizona is definitely the one capable of doing more damage with the 15s, so she needs to go, sadly. We need to try and get it to slow up, sink, or something. Mind you, if we can get a... There we go. She's slower than now. Maybe it would be uh, worth flinging some shells at Philadelphia. Just to try and slow her up. Pretty sure the destroyer... Yeah, we can actually kill the destroyer now. Got a man gun on the Philly. Rear turret goes. Not man. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to continue to flick AG because I'm reasonably sure my pen chance is going to be terrible because of the angle. Well, it's not that bad actually. Let's try some auto just to get an engine. again. Well, it could have just been a bad set of hits. Yeah, I don't think the Philadelphia is a bad design. I mean, 120 odd million for something like that. Use it like a, you know, very heavy, heavily armed heavy cruiser work. Uh, but again, something like this. No hope. Finally wearing down the uh, destroyer. Yep, Philly's slower than us now. We can uh, be reasonably assured of victory. Look at all those secondaries go, though. down the Arizona, but I've got a better angle on the Philly. Oh, no, that's not good. With the number of ricochets on the Paris is bonkers. 156. really nice to be able to keep your front profile um, facing the enemy when you're not madly dodging torpedoes anyway. Yeah, I, I wish the AI wouldn't run away as much. That is new. It didn't used to do this quite as much. Um... Particularly on these uh, kind of testing missions, uh, if you look at the holes for CP, uh, core patch half, um, you, you don't see this running away going on quite as much. Uh, it was more rare, but the AI just absolutely loves to try and uh, get you into a stern chase at the moment. Unfortunately, that is absolutely what this ship is perfect to deal with. <laughs> no reduction in firepower. 
extremely well protected for, to return fire. Oh, he's uh, broadside on. That's a mistake. <laughs> One salvo just completely crippled the Arizona there. And she explodes. <laughs> oh dear. Not great. Not, not great. Well, not for the Americans, anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pretty decent. I like that. <laughs> um, I like that ship. Uh, I, I would say that if you're going for this particular type of build, I would maybe fiddle with the armor, put more on the full belt and the full deck. Mm, otherwise, but I mean, if if you're going for a if you're going for a campaign build, you you don't want to neglect your after armor because as you saw there, I was kind of ducking and diving, but uh, France does get access. This is a 1929 hull, so when France comes along, it's potentially this. Yeah, hmm. That's just it's just nasty. <laughs> you can't argue with that front firepower oh my god anyway i hope you enjoyed that uh those of you on youtube and i'll see you again soon for some more ultimate admiral dreadnoughts bye for now